the trajectory of the story of Jesus' death and resurrection is important. God comes into history to exist as a person, and as a person, dies on a cross so that our sins are fully atoned for. Jesus is then raised from death, blazing a trail for others to follow, so that we can know that death need not be the end. There is a hope, the certainty of a new kind of life that can be tasted here and now and fully enjoyed after this life is over. He then ascends to the Father, sitting on the throne of heaven, so that we can know that the true destiny of humanity is not the emptiness of nothingness, what the Bible calls hell, but fellowship with God, our Creator. This is the story of Jesus. The remarkable thing is that it can also be our story. St. Paul describes a Christian as someone who is in Christ. By faith in him, and through baptism into Christ, I become, as it were, part of him, so that his story becomes mine. My sins have been paid for so that I do not have to live under a constant cloud of guilt. I too have the promise of eternal life, begun here and reaching its fulfilment after death. I too am seated next to the Father in Christ, knowing his intimate presence, love and purpose. By being in Christ, forgiveness, new life and a joyful future become mine and yours.